Hello, my name is Christy Cannon and I am the prenatal educator here at Los Robles Hospital. We're gonna talk about the first stage of labor today and discuss key points to help you know when labor is approaching and when to come into the hospital. The first and most important thing to remember is listen to your body. We all have intuition and we know what's happening in our body if we can become aware of the changes that occur slowly over time. It takes time for these changes to take place. There are predictors of labor to watch for that can let you know you're getting closer to the birth of your baby. One of the best ways to assess these changes is to talk to your provider at the weekly visits leading up to the birth. From 36 weeks on, you will see your provider every week and you'll be examined and you can discuss your questions and concerns and the changes your body is undergoing so you can have an idea of how close your labor is going to be. Let's discuss changes that can predict the onset of labor over the next few days and weeks. Loss of a mucus plug occurs, sometimes it's called bloody show. A mucus plug created by the glands of the cervical mucosa early in pregnancy seals the cervical canal throughout pregnancy serving as a protective barrier. As the cervix ripens, small capillaries may break mixing the blood with mucus. Bloody show is the expulsion of this blood-tinged mucus and can signal the onset of labor over the next few days or weeks. Braxton Hicks contractions are known as pre-labor contractions and they are tightening of the uterus without pain. And the difference is you know that they're Braxton Hicks contractions because they go away with good hydration and position changes, but they can occur in the later months of pregnancy, kind of a way of the uterus practicing those, those uterine contractions, getting ready for true labor. Let's review changes in contractions from Braxton Hicks to true labor contractions. The definition of true labor is contractions with cervical change. Cervical dilation and effacement occur over time. To help you know where you are in your labor progress, you can ask yourself some questions. Are these contractions painful? Are they increasing in frequency, duration, and intensity? Do I feel any leaking of water or have bloody show? Let's talk about what to do in the first stage of labor. The more you can do at home, the better. You can pack a bag for the hospital so when the time comes, you'll be prepared to go. You can do things like arrange childcare. Most importantly, you can take care of yourself and take it easy. Try not to overdo it. Nourish your body with good nutrition and hydrate with plenty of water and rest as much as you can. Listen to your body and be aware of any changes to communicate with your provider at the weekly visits leading up to the birth. The key point here is the more you can do at home, the better. Call your provider and discuss changes that are occurring within your body and they can help guide you whether or not it's time to come into the hospital. A few reminders. Pre-labor contractions or the Braxton Hicks contractions can occur weeks before the actual birth. Other predictive signs of labor include loss of your mucus plug or the bloody show, contractions that increase in frequency, duration, and intensity and become painful as opposed to just tightening, GI distress as the body prepares itself for birth. You may experience diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. Those can be predictive signs that labor is approaching. You may feel an energy spurt right before the onset of labor. Pre-labor rupture of membranes is a release of your bag of waters when you notice fluid leaking and you would wanna let your provider know. They may decide to have you labor at home for a period of time with expectant management or have you come to the hospital for induction of labor. We're here to help guide you and know when to come to the hospital. We're here to answer questions and here to support you in any way as you prepare for the birth of your baby. Congratulations.